What's up everybody, Steve here. Look, as a real estate broker who has gone through the last real estate recession, the last real estate crash, I can tell you that it was very, very important to pivot my business. And if I didn't pivot, we probably would have gone out of business. And today I want to talk about finding short sales to list because it can be life changing for you guys if you guys do decide to go this route. Um, as always, when we changed the direction of our business, we went from selling traditional sales, cold calling for sale by owners, going after expired listings, doing farm areas, etc. And when the market shifted, which we are going into right now, regardless if you see it or not, maybe it's not happening in your local market right now, but it's it's coming and a lot of areas are experiencing this in terms of flattening market and even declining market. And um, we had to pivot and we pivoted into four things. It was short sales, listing uh, foreclosures, going after uh, BPOs, broker price opinions, as well as property management where we were leasing properties. And um, anyway, as mentioned, I'm gonna talk about short sales. So basically uh, just real quick, I wanna give it a quick example. So if somebody bought a house for $300,000, say three months ago, and the market flattened out, and all of a sudden they have a job transfer where they have to move out of the area. And let's say they bought the house for $300,000 with three and a half percent down. Okay. That means they still owe $289,500. If they were in a flat market, and let's say that they had to sell and they sold it for what they paid for, they would still have to write a check at closing. OK, so they bought it for 300. They sold it for 300. And if you look at the math, after listing with a real estate agent, you call it about twenty four thousand dollars in closing costs. They would have to cut a check for thirteen thousand five hundred dollars at closing. OK, again, that's if somebody bought the house financed uh, with three and a half percent down. <clears throat> they have about eight percent closing costs, call it six percent for commissions. And then another couple points for doc stamps, title insurance, et cetera. Now, a lot of people do not have that kind of money to cut a check and basically move on with their lives. So that's not taken into consideration either if they were basically in a declining market where they paid 300 and now it's worth, say, 270. Now you can see a big, big swing, a big, big difference. Now, this is where you guys come in because a lot of people are going to be in this situation, I believe, in the fall and throughout 2023, throughout 2024. I think that this target market is going to be a fantastic long-term target market probably for the next several years. And there's not many people learning about it. And um, unfortunately... Um, a lot of those real estate agents are going to be going out of the market. And you are, we are already starting to see them. So right now, today, I looked on Red X in our local area of uh, Lee County and Collier County. And right now, there are that I got access to through Red X. There's an affiliate link down below for you guys as well. But basically, I have access to the phone numbers, email addresses, the home addresses, and uh, there was uh, 1,240 people in that system in my local market that I could reach out to that are not paying their mortgages that are going to be facing a foreclosure unless we come and step in. Now, um, that Red X is probably one of the easiest, fastest ways to go and find people who are distressed that you guys will be able to help out. Now, I have other videos on this channel so you guys can figure out the short sale process and how to go through it. Now, I think it's only like 50 bucks a month or something for one territory. If you guys need to go and you don't have the funds or whatever the case is, you can always go to your uh, clerk of courts and, and many of them are online and you can go through your clerk of courts in Florida. It's called a Liz, Liz Pendants. But basically, it's the start of the foreclosure process. It's a pending lawsuit of foreclosure. And you can go through that list and find all the people in your area who are not 
paying on their mortgages that could use your help. Now the short sale process, um, it's not the easiest process, but we we've listed and sold hundreds of them. And what was fantastic is, you know, the real estate business and sales in general is about building relationships and the people that we've saved from foreclosure by doing a short sale, we were looked at like we, they very, they really, really valued our services because, <clears throat> you know, if they got foreclosed on, they were most likely the bank was going to come after them for a deficiency judgment. It was going to be on their credit for at least seven years. <clears throat> and um, for them to get back on their feet and to buy another property, it would take a, a long time. So doing a short sale, odds are in with many of the banks, <clears throat> they would actually waive their deficiency rights to come after you, after the borrower. Uh, sometimes we'd even get them cash at closing. And a lot of people we were actually able to sell a house to 24 months later. And those people became a solid core of kind of cheerleaders for us. And as time progressed, a lot of our business just became word of mouth because, you know, so many people needed our assistance. And um, guys, I'm telling you right now, we're, we're coming into uncharted territory with our economy it, and not just in the United States, but, you know, throughout the, the world, a lot of economies are, are, are distressed to say the least. And uh, I just watched a, a video with uh, Jerome Powell um, with the Cato Institute, and he's talking about what they're doing to combat inflation and everything else. And they're, they're rolling off about $95 billion dollars <clears throat> of money that's going to come out of the market every single month over the next couple of years. That's going to be trillions of dollars being pulled out of the market. So we're going to come into an era, a situation where people were already starting to feel it right now, September of 2022, as I make this video, we're already starting to feel um, the flattening of the market, buyers walking away, buyers walking away from new construction, builder sentiment, going down, um, properties coming back to market, price reductions, new inventory coming to market. There's a lot of, a lot of fear. There's a lot of people that, um, that are not just um, necessarily lost their job in any sense, which I do foresee is going to come. I think we're going to see a lot more job losses come. But um, you have a lot of people that just maybe overextending themselves and the cost of living has just gotten too heavy for them with the cost of fuel, cost of just basic necessities for their families. And unless they're house hacking and bringing people in and trying to rent out rooms or whatever, a lot of people are going to have to sell their homes. And I predict that a lot of people are going to be upside down and a lot of people are going to need real estate agents like yourself who have pivoted in their business um, so <clears throat> excuse me, I have, uh, many other videos. I'm going to continue doing a, a, hopefully at least a video a week on this channel. My main channel is my name, Steve Daria. <clears throat> and there I give you more real estate news. So be sure to subscribe there as well. And then, uh, if you want to take your business to another level and go after one or all of those target markets, I do have really inexpensive, comprehensive courses from A to Z on short sales, BPOs, listing foreclosures, as well as property management in the description for you guys. So um, I appreciate you being here on this video today. And as mentioned, if you guys want to jump into it, get on the phones and start calling these people, you can get on Red X, there's an affiliate link, or just Google Red X, and you can find pre-foreclosures on there. Thanks for being here.